Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about stomach cancer. Have you ever heard of any of your parents suddenly having trouble swallowing and losing weight in a short period of time? Or was one of your parents feeling bloated and full even when eating small amounts of food? Now these symptoms may be serious and cannot be neglected, as they may indicate the presence of cancer of the stomach. Stomach cancer, also known as gastric cancer, is the fifth most common cancer worldwide. Gastric cancer is a disease in which malignant cells form in the lining of the stomach. During this video, we will explain to you all about this deadly cancer, its symptoms, and how it can be diagnosed, and what treatments are available depending on the stage of the tumor. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding stomach cancer. Today we have Dr. Choi, who is a leading doctor at Korea University Annam Hospital. He is going to discuss with us everything about stomach cancer from an experienced medical point of view. Hello Ume, before we start, please subscribe to our channel, so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Okay, moving on to our first, last subject, stomach yeah. cancer. Uh, what are the symptoms for stomach cancer? There are not many symptoms of gastric cancer. Patients are surprised when they are diagnosed with cancer without feeling any symptoms. However, there is a narrow area in the stomach that goes down. And if cancer occurs in that area, the patient may show symptoms such as vomiting and abdominal pain. When the stage of cancer progresses, it often causes abdominal pain, and stomach ulcers may occur after abdominal pain, which may cause hemoptysis. So you said there aren't many symptoms, right? Or any symptoms. In this case, how do you detect stomach cancer? There are not many symptoms of gastric cancer, so regular endoscopy is required to prevent gastric cancer. Cancer can be diagnosed very quickly through endoscopy. If you were diagnosed with gastric cancer, treatment can be done quickly. Okay, so one of the treatments is the endoscopic gastric cancer surgery. Can you tell us more about it? Recently, more and more patients are being examined by endoscopy, and cancer is often detected very early. In the past, the stomach had to be resected almost half or more, but recently, surgery is performed to cut out only cancer with an endoscope. This is called endoscopic mucosal resection. In this case, even if the patient is diagnosed with gastric cancer, the patient can be treated and discharged in two to three days. So can endoscopic surgery cure stomach cancer without any open surgery? Endoscopic mucosal resection is only possible for early detection of cancer. So if the cancer has progressed a lot, laparoscopic surgery or lepitomy should be performed eventually. EMR can only be performed on early cancer. Okay, so endoscopic gastric cancer surgery, is it possible to perform in every stages of the cancer or just at the beginning? Yes, as I said early on, since endoscopic surgery is possible only for early cancer, patients should detect cancer as soon as possible. Early detection and treatments are important because it is possible only with early cancer. So this kind of surgery, does it also require to be under uh, anesthesia? Basically, it depends on location. Basic endoscopic treatment is performed on a sleep endoscopy, which is usually treated with an endoscope using sleeping pills. So there's no need for general anesthesia. Okay, so after endoscopic gastric cancer surgery, is it is it possible to return to normal life? Of course, if you do endoscopic treatment, you can be discharged immediately after hospitalization for two to three days. And you can work immediately after discharge. So after the surgery, the patient should take any kind of uh, care of diet or any kind of different lifestyle? After surgery, patients should be careful about the intake of salty and burnt foods that can cause cancer. However, eating everyday meals or dieting is no problem at all. Mm. Okay, doctor, uh, so we, tell us a little more in details about the new trends of the endoscopic mucosal surgery. Recently in Korea, almost 50% of gastric cancer surgery is performed through endoscopic surgery. This is because cancer is mainly detected early. 
An endoscopic technology is well developed. Therefore, the instruments used for endoscopic surgery have also developed a lot. Recently, there is also robotic surgery applied to endoscopic surgery. In that case, patients can also undergo surgery safely and is also showing good effects. So, it is expected that such surgery will soon become the latest trend. Okay. Our last question about stomach cancer. What are some of the main causes? so people can prevent them. The cause of gastric cancer comes from various aspects of life. Acquired factors are greater than genetic factors that come from birth. And salty food, burnt food, alcohol, and tobacco are the main causes of gastric cancer. Helicobacter pylori is also a very important factor in gastric cancer. If you have this bacterium, treating it quickly is a treatment to prevent gastric cancer. Okay, thank you so much for informative. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Today we learned many things about stomach cancer and the doctor explained in detail everything related to its risks, symptoms, how it is diagnosed and treated. Thank you for joining us once again today at Cloud Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and respond to you as soon as possible.